What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this super simple workbench. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I got this four foot by eight foot piece of three quarter inch MDF, and I'm just gonna cut it down to six foot so that we have a four foot by six foot piece. All right, so now that I got that cut, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chop saw, and then I'm just gonna mark out a square on one of the long sides, and I'll just mark it out so that it'll drop right in there. So I'll just give it a little bit of extra room on either side, and then just as far back as I need to go, and then I'll just cut that square out. All right, so now that we got that cut out, I'm gonna take some of these two by fours here and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them to fit so that they will go uh, on the bottom side standing up. So I'll flip this over and then I'm just gonna get them all screwed in like this. And then to get around this opening, I'll have two going on either side and then I'll just have one like this. And then right here, it can go this way and then it can go in and dive into that one. And then to secure the MDF to the two bys, I'm gonna be using these inch and five eight screws. And then on all of the two by four joins, I'll just be using three inch screws. All right, so that is how that looks. Like I said, I got the one going across the back, the two on the sides, and then this one is just right at the back of that just to support this whole front section. Now this thing is gonna be pretty heavy and uh, pretty big with it being four feet and with the three quarter inch MDF. So if you did want something that was a little more lighter and smaller, you could do the five eighths MDF and then maybe cut it down to like 40 inches or something just so that it's not as wide. But I just wanted to take advantage of as much space as I could and kind of have uh, one section as like a workbench and then the other section for cutting stuff. And if you downsize it, obviously you can just do the same exact thing as this, it'll just be a little bit smaller. But now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the legs. And for the legs, I'm just gonna do these at 36 inches. Uh, I'm around six feet tall, so I think that'll be a good height for me. And the way I'm gonna do these is I'm gonna have one that'll go up like this, and then I'll have one like this, and then I'll screw these together and then screw them in down here that way they'll have some good support so that they won't be wobbly at all so i'm going to go ahead and get these legs put in All right, so we got those legs put on and I just wanna show you real quick. So I just got three screws in each side and what I do is just put on the outside piece and then I would just take my square, I just put one screw in and then uh, go ahead and do my best to make sure that it was square and then put the other two in. And then with this one over here, I do the same thing. Just put the one in, try to get it square and then that should square it uh, both this way and this way. And then I just got these two screws going up here just to hold these together. But now we can go ahead and get it flipped over. All right, now that we got it flipped over, the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my chop saw here and I just got it up on the table. And what I'm gonna do is just measure what it is uh, from the bottom here right to the top of that. Uh, so I'll probably grab my square and hold it on there, but it looks like we're looking at about uh, two and 15 sixteenths. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that on each side. And then I'm going to run some blocks across it right here that will sit right where these feet sit. And then that way we can just screw it right into those and it'll sit right in here. All right, so now that we got that all screwed in there, as you can see, I got that all nice and lined up. Um, I actually just ended up screwing these two by fours 
in through the bottom like that. And I just did that just to give them some more support and to make them a little bit stronger. And then I just measured from here up to the top of this. And then I just cut these shims out and then got it screwed in there. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And then for the table saw, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it down and measure to see how high I have to get to be flush with this. And then I'm gonna come over here and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna have these two two by fours uh, running along the legs. So they'll go something like this and then they'll stick out enough to where there'll be some room for the table saw to go at the end. Then I'm gonna take my cutoff piece from my main piece, this three quarter inch stuff, and I'm just gonna cut it to fit between uh, these two legs. It'll be something like that, except it'll be at the right height to where I can just set it on it and it will be flush or just a little bit above this height. Uh, you just don't want it lower because you don't want to be trying to run stuff through your table saw and it keeps hitting this edge. So a little bit higher is better than a little bit lower. And then I will have to leave a little bit of a gap between it because we have this lip right here so we just want to make sure we have enough space. And then once I got that shelf on there, I'm just going to set my table saw on there and uh, make sure it has enough room for uh, clearance just between here and here. And when I find a good spot for it, I'm just gonna screw on maybe some one by or just rip a two by four down and just put some blocks just so that when I, I'll set it in there and once it's set in there, it can't just slide off the edge. There'll be some blocks to catch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that shelf built out. All right, so that's it for the table saw shelf. So I went ahead and added uh, one two by four right there. And then I added one on the end. And then, like I said, those just go all the way down. And then I got my MDF put on there. And then once I had that on there, I just kind of set the saw on top of it and uh, made sure I had enough space right here for the slide to work properly. And then I also, I just opened this up to where it was uh, lined up with the edge here and then using my level I just kind of made sure that it was uh, straight with it for the most part so it lines up pretty good and then also the top of it lines up pretty good over there and one trick for when you're measuring for these pieces if you just measure um, on the inside if you just measure up to the top of this and then if you make your mark that will be where your support piece goes and then once you add the MDF to it it'll kind of even it out so that you don't have to try and measure uh, from this top down at an angle to here with this piece in the way. So if you just measure from the top of this one to the top of this one, then once the MDF is on there, it'll match it out. So, and then once I had this in line with my level, I just pushed up a piece of one by two against it and screwed it in there. And then on this side, I just left a little bit of a space, just enough so that I can still take it in and out fine, but it's not gonna be super loose in there. And then you also get a little bit of storage space over on this side, which is really nice. And I actually sat on this. So as long as you don't put more than 180 pounds on it, you shouldn't have any problems, but that is pretty much it just for the main pieces of it. Uh, I think in the future, I'm gonna add some two by fours on the bottom and then I'll put a sheet of plywood down or MDF to make a bottom shelf. And then I think I'm just gonna put a piece on these top ones too. Then that'll give me two big shelves for a lot of storage. But beware for this top shelf, this thing is gonna be uh, pushing all the wood down. So if you do put a top shelf up here or a bottom shelf, it might be worth it just to build uh, just a small box and then with a piece of plywood, just so that all of your wood shavings aren't just getting thrown onto all your stuff. So I think I'll be doing that in the future. But for now, I just wanted a simple uh, workbench area and then just an area to cut my wood. And the really cool thing about building this yourself is that you can just add things onto it whenever you want to. It definitely beats buying one from the store. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll make a material list in the description. I think everything was just over hundred bucks, so it's really not bad for how big of a workbench you're getting. And if anybody has any uh, improvements or things that might work out better on this or just things that I could change on it to make it function better. Uh, I'd love to hear any of those in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave. I'd also love to hear any video recommendations if you guys have any. Thank you guys so much for watching and please have a great day. Yeah.